Welcome to our second webinar where we'll show you how to use the marketing features within SuperOffice to target your treasures we uncovered in the last webinar. Today my colleague Chris will play the role of Digital Marketing Manager in a company using SuperOffice. He will take you through a common situation you might face using our core functionality covering areas such as selections, mailings, personalization, link actions, interests, follow-ups, reports and web forms. Further to the MD's request for growing more business, the marketing manager would like to use the data uncovered previously of those customers who had not purchased in the last six months to run a personalised maintenance campaign that will inform them of a new product update, capture interest against their contact card and provide the sales team with follow-up actions to call the targets. Chris will now take you through the process of how to create a personalised mailing. Here is the selection that I created last time. I can use this selection to create a personalised mailing. In order to do this, I need to click on the Mailings tab and select the Create a Mailing link, which will take me to the marketing area within SuperOffice. Here, we can add personalisation which will increase our chances of recipients opening the mail. We enter the mailing name for internal reference. The mailing subject is where we can begin the personalisation. Next, we enter who the mailing will be sent from. For this mailing, we will send it from Bob Jones, our Managing Director. We can also select who the recipient sees the mailing is sent from and who they can reply to. In addition to specifying a name, we could choose to show the account manager's name instead for more direct response, or even to our support contact if it is relevant. We want to be able to keep track of the sales relating to this mailing, so we are tagging it against the project Q2 product offer. For GDPR, we need to ensure that recipients have provided us permission to send this information to them, so we select the promotion type to filter by those described to this mailing type. We could also attach a price list here if we wanted to. For those with marketing or complete user plans, we have additional options for ticking track links, which means we can see who clicked what in the mailing. And you can also enter a Google Analytics keyword here if applicable to your business. Here, you can see we have a range of standard templates, or we can choose a template from our online template library. I'm going to search for a newsletter template and select this template to use. Now we have selected our template, we can enter our content. The template content has images, text, social media icons and subscription management that can be altered. We can easily edit this content using our inbuilt editor tool within SuperOffice. This is split into separate sections. Heading, Body, Image and Layout. Within this area, we can add links that can be tracked and we can enhance this with link actions also. There are tools to aid you in editing as efficiently as possible. and also to ensure the mailing can be viewed correctly on mobile devices. Now that Chris has created the content of the mailing, we need to utilise both track links and link actions within SuperOffice to begin automating the progression to the sales team once sent. Tracked links provide the ability to trace open rate, see who has clicked on what so that you can create additional targeted mailings. Link actions within a mailing allow you to easily configure what should happen when recipients click on a link. I'll hand you back over to Chris who will show you how to create track links and link actions to automate processes within SuperOffice. To make the process of calling those that have interacted with the mailing more efficient, we can use track links and link actions. Here, I will create a new link to take the recipient to our product page 
and actions will be performed as a result of them clicking on the link. I will give this link a name so we know what this link relates to. When the recipient clicks the link, I'll redirect them to our product web page. In order for our sales team to be able to deal with these hot opportunities as quickly as possible, I can create additional link actions. Here, I can add an interest for future targeting. I can also create a follow-up activity to be assigned directly to the salesperson or the our contact. We can add some default text so the salesperson knows where this follow-up has come from. We can tag these follow-ups against the project Q2 product offer. The type is a phone out activity and it's created by myself. We can assign it to the our contact if they're available or set a default recipient if they're not. Finally, so this follow-up appears directly in the user's task list, we can set a duration of zero. In line with the GDPR requirements, only persons who have given their explicit consent to receive mailings from you will be handled in the mailing module in SuperOffice. SuperOffice have developed specific features to handle these consents within mailings, saving you time and insisting in compliance. We have expanded the possibilities to set preferences on content for each person in SuperOffice mailings. This means that each contact in your CRM database can now set their own preferences about receiving content and either opt in or opt out from certain types of communication. This feature is available in the subscription links in emails. As marketeers are aware, open rates are a major KPI in business. SuperOffice also supports the ability to schedule mailings in order to increase open rates. It might be a good idea, for example, to choose a time towards the end of the working day or even during the evening to send. Integrated reports give you insights into how your email campaign can be improved for next time, for example, by testing other visuals, copy or subject lines. You can also create reports on who has clicked what links so that you can create additional targeted mailings. Chris will now take you through how these features present in SuperOffice. This view shows the recipient list we entered from our selection that were customers who had not bought from us in the last six months, whom we will use as a target for this mailing. You can see the statuses of the recipients, so if they did not have the correct GDPR consent or subscription type, we would be notified and the mailing would not be sent to them. We have several options on refreshing the data prior to sending, and you can even override the consent and subscriptions if you have permission to do so. If you feel there are additional recipients that you wish to add at this stage, you can add them from a selection, project, individual, or imported list. Now we can see the status of the mailing and choose to send now or at a later time and date. We also have a range of dashboards and reports that can help you provide analysis of the mailing once it's been sent. Here, you can see the reporting we achieve in a mailing, including opens, bounces, and click-through rates. Our Reports tab shows a variety of reports showing numbers opened in the first 48 hours, track links, and other recipient demographics. Here, we can filter the recipient list to show statuses for open, red, sent, and bounces, including soft and hard bounces. We can use this for further targeted mailings. I can also see the number of clicks each track link has received. If I click the link I want to see, I can view the clickers which I can manipulate as a call list if required by putting them into a selection. Chris has shown you how to create a mailing and use track links and link actions to automate certain processes.
A further way to enhance this could be to use web forms. In this final section, Chris will show you how to create a web form and use actions to achieve signups for a product demonstration. I'll hand you over to Chris. As part of the campaign, the sales director wants to offer demonstrations to prospects targeted by the mailing. We could display this on our website, or in this case, use the direct link within our targeted mailing as part of the trap links we saw earlier. This link could also be added to our email signatures by the IT department. Here, you can see the workflow for creating a form. Here is the name of the form, along with various properties. The form can be set to automatically deactivate on a given date or if the maximum number of signups has been exceeded. When either of these are reached, we can then show the inactive form page so customers are fully informed of their alternative options. It is possible to completely configure fields and as you can see here we've added the essential fields that allow people to sign up to our product webinar. The information contained in certain fields can be made mandatory and will be added to SuperOffice. Any changes you make to the style of the form, this could be to meet your brand requirements or to fit a certain area on your website, will also be reflected in the preview on the right. Double opt-in ensures that email addresses are validated so only quality data is returned to SuperOffice. Here, we can redirect our customer to a message thanking them for their sign-up or another section of our website if appropriate. If the form has reached its expiry date or the maximum number of sign-ups has been exceeded, we can show this inactive form that provides them with information directing them where to proceed next. Here, we can decide how the submissions of the form are handled by the sales team because I want to ensure the information is captured effectively and duplicates or inaccurate information are filtered beforehand. You can see we have three options for handling submitted forms and the information contained within them. Once this web form is active, we can then obtain reports relating to the submissions. We can also see who has submitted their form in order to contact them. This is also displayed in the Contacts Activity tab. I hope you found this useful for your own marketing activities and we look forward to welcoming you to the next webinar where our sales team will be working through the customers that have shown an interest in our product offer through the mailing or signed up to the product demonstration via the web form where our main focus will be on sales and the quoting process and revisiting dashboards for forecasting. So there we have it. Chris has shown us how to use mailings to target a selection with a personalised email and automate responses to our sales team using link actions in addition to how customers can sign up to events using web forms. Our App Store also has a range of enhanced marketing apps that may be of interest to you. Please contact your account manager for further information. Thank you for your time. We look forward to you joining us for our next webinar focusing on increasing your treasure, where we show you how your sales team can utilise SuperOffice to increase sales and keep track of your forecasts.